Hey y'all, I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I have a print and pray process for you. This is a new set from Kelly Bangs. It's called Flowers of the Fields and she has a set of gorgeous papers that you can see right here and she also has a set of ephemera pieces. Before I print out the ephemera pieces though, I thought that I would take you all over and show you how I work with digital files on Silhouette. I do have a video, um, I'll link it below on how I work with digital files on Cricut and kind of resize things and cut out the images and things like that. And I had a, a few of you request um, a video about how to do the, uh, something similar with um, a silhouette. So I will take you over to my computer, show you how I work with those files, and then we'll print them out and get going. Let's go. Okay, when you download your files, they will be in the PDF format. And so what you want to do is open up your file PDF format, and then I just simply export that file, and I export it as a JPEG because that is what is easiest to work with in Silhouette for me at least. So I'll make sure that it is in the correct folder so that I can find it. These are the flowers. And I'm just gonna save that file right there as a JPEG. Save and it's ready to go. Then you are gonna open up your Silhouette Studio software. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when you open up your software is come over here to the page setup tool on the right, and you're going to wanna to click this registration mark icon right here, and you want your registration marks on. This is so that the silhouette can read what you print out. So if you're going to do a print then cut, which is what you would generally do with digital files, you need those silhouette marks there. So then you're going to open, and here is our JPEG, so we will open that. And you know what, now that we've opened it, it's put it on a new page, so I'm gonna turn right here, make sure my registration marks are on, and then I can close that page setup. And you can see the file is really large, so I'm just gonna drag it down like this, and then I'm going to rotate it so that it can kind of fit in the registration mark area. So bringing it down like this, and you want all of the writing, all of the pictures to be out of this shaded area, none of it in there. Now, this is the most basic way to cut out a sheet. Let me show you what tool you're going to use. So over here, this little butterfly is the trace tool. So you open the trace panel and you're gonna pick select trace area right there. Now, what you can do is actually 99% of the time, you can select the whole page just like this. And instead of a solid fill, you're going to want to pick outline. And then this threshold right here is what you will drag on upwards. So you can see the higher it goes, the more detailed it goes. However, if you get to 100%, it kind of gets a little bit crazy. So generally, somewhere around 96 or 97 works pretty well. And then from there, what I normally like to do is hit trace outer edge right here. Clicking that, it is going to go through and trace the outer edge of that image. Now you see the red cut lines uh, completely surrounding all of the florals right here. If I click on that and select it, this is all of those cut lines selected. Rarely do I want to cut exactly all of those little shapes. So what I will then go to, I'll close the trace tool. I'll come down to the star, which is the offset panel. Click that and you're going to want to offset that. And you click offset and it will give you an automatic border. But you see that's a pretty large border right there. I generally come over here to distance and 0.05 works pretty well, so I will apply that. And you'll see it shrink down just a bit so that less of the pieces are connected. And there you go. So now you have the offset. So I have one red line. If I zoom in here, 
you'll be able to see. So I have one set of red lines that's very close to the image and then one set of red lines that is offset from that image. So what I want to do is I don't want that first set. So I'm going to click right here and then I'm just going to delete that. Oops. Clicked the wrong part. Let me try that again. Click that part. There we go. Delete. Now it just has the offset cutting right there. So it will fussy cut around all of those florals really nice and clear. Now with the setting, I have some that will cut together. That's no big deal to just cut apart on your own, but there are some little pieces that I do not want cut out. For instance, I do not want this cut out. And I also don't want some of the little inner parts. So I will show you how to get rid of pieces like this and like this that I would prefer to stay as one whole piece. Okay, to get rid of those small pieces, what you wanna do is select that cut, go up to the menu and click Object, Release Compound Path. And now you see that those all have different boxes around them. You can go through and just manually click on them and delete the tiny cuts that you don't want to happen. And there are some that are gonna be a little bit tiny and most of them you'll be able to see pretty well. So go over here, object, release compound path. Now that will make it easier to select that little piece. Delete, delete, keep going down here, delete. And we have it over here as well. Object, release, compound path. Off of it, then select that small piece. Same thing right here. Otherwise, this one looks pretty good. A couple more over here. And depending on how intricate the digitals are, you're gonna have to go through and delete these little pieces, but generally this is still going to be faster for me than fussy cutting out all of these florals. Delete that. Come on down to this one. Right here, we'll do the same thing, release the compound path. You can also right click on it and hit release compound path from there. Now this one's a little bit tricky right here because I'll be able to get rid of this and this and this, but these are all, that's all connected. So that will cut just like that. So from here, I think that that is all of it. So what you can do is you can print and it will send it to your printer, print that, and then you will just, after it prints, you'll load it onto your silhouette mat and send it over to be cut. Okay, you may want to work with the digitals as individuals. So I'm going to go back and open my flower file right here. Again, I go over here to the right and I'm gonna click the page set up, I want those registration marks on so that when I print, the silhouette will be able to read what I am printing. And then I'm gonna come right over here. And there we go. So I have my file here. Let me zoom in just a bit. So what I wanna do is I actually just want these two images. So I'm gonna follow the same pattern of using the trace tool select trace area and I'm going to choose the whole thing again. So all of this goodness selected. I want outlines and I'll go up to 97 this time. And then instead of picking trace or trace outer edge, I'm going to pick trace and detach. And it'll take just a moment, but what it will do is trace all of that and then detach it so that I can work with those in, uh, images as individuals. Okay, I can close this now and I can pull these images over. So I have this one, 
can rotate and put right in here. So I have a nice big bouquet of flowers right there. And then I can do the same with this one. Again, rotate it. Maybe, maybe I don't want that one. Maybe instead of that one, oopsie, I will come over. How about this one? Love this. These colors are just beautiful. So then I enlarge that somewhat to put right there. Okay, now I'm going to hit that image and I will offset. Now I'm going to go with 0 0.06. Apply that. And again, I'll go through that same process of releasing the compound path. And then I can delete all of these little parts right in here, just like that. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. So I will offset it. We'll go with 0 0.06. And I'll go through and see if I need to delete any of these small cuts. I just don't need these little cuts. I'm going to be printing this on sticker paper, clear sticker paper. So it will work really well if I delete those. No need for my silhouette to um, have to cut all those tiny pieces out. And that one. So, oops, one more. What I would do from this point is print. Once it is printed, if I click send just like this, what happens is you see that it has two cut lines. It is cutting right along where the image is, and then it has my offset. I just want it to cut the offset. So, what I'm going to do is come back in here and delete these. Now when I press send, it will send it straight to my machine and cut around those images. Now I actually already have this file done and formatted like I wanted, so we'll open up this version of it. Press send over here, and then I'm going to click vinyl as the setting so that it will cut correctly on the sticker paper and I'll be ready to go. Okay, one quick tip that I forgot to mention is I had all of this stuff over here, all of this stuff. And if you leave that there, the cut file will not work correctly. So what you need to do is select all of this and just delete it. So you're only left with what's here. For some reason, the silhouette kind of gets a little bit confused when you have stuff off in the gray area. So um, just make sure you delete that and then the cut file will work. Really now that I have my printables all set, then I can do a really simple Bible journaling entry. That's one of the great things about these printables. And since I was able to adjust the size, it is going to fill up this page beautifully. So I will put you all on fast forward. We'll do a simple entry. I am in Luke 12 27 where it says consider the lilies how they grow they neither toil nor spin yet i tell you even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these i just love how god teaches through repetition because of course the day that i was going to work on this page um my whole devotional that morning was about uh toil meaning work and um, you know, getting your worth out of the work that you're doing and how that really isn't where your worth comes from. And I think that's exactly what this uh, scripture is pointing to in that um, God loves you and adorns you even more so than the lilies. Like he, he believes you're more beautiful than those and they, they don't toil and you don't have to toil either. Meaning you don't have to strive and, and run yourself into the ground. And that's a hard concept for me. I am definitely like a type A personality. And so that's a hard one for me. And so I know God's going to have to continue hammering that home. Um, so I am thankful for repetition. Um, I am using one of the digital papers. You saw me use this uh, water brush and that's a really cool technique for tearing along a line that you want to tear along. So I had an idea of the shape that I was going for and I want to make this like a pocket, a big pocket on the page. And so I just added adhesive 
onto the sides of the side and the bottom so that it would form a pocket and then I'm just cutting down the digital paper from there and I have that nice pretty torn edge and it will be a great little pocket and now I'm going to use my other large sticker and I actually ended up cutting it in half and I'm going to have it come off the left side of the page. So I love this illuminated scripture journal because it gives you a lot of room to journal, but it's not an overwhelming size like the illustrating Bible is sometimes. And these stickers work really well because they're clear. So you can definitely see through them so they don't cover up scripture. And I feel like when you have um, a journal like this or maybe an interleaved Bible, it doesn't really make sense to cover up scripture when you have all that space. So I I always try not to on, on these particular journals. So I'm just trimming off the end of that sticker paper and then I'm gonna try to take a look at putting a title on to my entry. I end up just using a mix of alpha stickers from my stash. These at the bottom here have a little bit of dimension to them, but I like the kind of brown paper look that they have on the front. And the title I go with, go with um, says, my worth comes from him. And that is a reminder that I need over and over again that I um, cannot earn my worth, that it is from God and God alone. So simple title. I love these simple pages. You know, I spent the time working with these digital images in silhouette and I didn't want to then put in lots of time on artwork. I wanted to just be thinking of this lesson. And like I said, this is a lesson that God is obviously repeating in my life. And so um, I'm, I'm getting it from multiple places. So this is a pretty simple entry, but I love that I can use these di digital images like this and really have an impactful entry without taking a lot of time. Now I'm just creating a quick journaling tag, covering one side of it with some of the digital papers. And then I have the other half of that uh, sticker bouquet right there. And I will put that on the back just for an extra little bit of interest. And I'll end up journaling over the top of that on the back. And that's just a Felicity Jane tag that I had in my stash and then was able to decorate it with the Kelly Bangs papers, which worked out really well. I'll add some journaling and underline my verse. And that will be that for this entry. I hope this video was helpful for those of you that have a silhouette at home or if you were just wanting to see the difference between how you work with digital images on the silhouette versus the Cricut, which I have a video for, like I mentioned earlier, so make sure to check that out as well. I will link all the supplies down below, including a link to this new beautiful set from Kelly Bangs, Flowers of the Field. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.